<laughs> hello there, hey. hello there, and welcome to All About the Bass. Uh, I'm Nathan. <laughs> and I'm Lee. Why are you talking in that stupid voice? I don't know. I can't do it's access, man. I'm going to try. Get a grip yourself, no. <laughs> man. Hello there. <laughs> so, Lee. Look what at we these. doing, man? Yes, we've got some new Music Man stuff turn up, so I thought we'd just do a nice quick rundown um, of, of what we had turn up. So, we did a, f a big order back in... February or March sort of time, and we've been waiting for a few bits to turn up. These being some of them, so uh, well, look, I'll tell you what this is. You know, this is my favourite uh, colour of guitar or bass of all time. It's I nice, just love. It? I wish I had a, a guitar or bass this colour. Yeah. Anybody wants to give me a guitar or bass this colour, then too right. I'm up for that too. It's, a, it's carry gorgeous. On. So, so this powder is blue. Powder that blue. Is powder blue. Stingray four. That's the one. Three band EQ. Mm. We'll see maple neck on this one. And that feels very nice, I have to say. They use this um, the gunstock oil finish on the on the back of the neck. This one's slightly different, but we'll get onto that. But um, but yeah, they do they feel gorgeous. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of the first maple neck stingrays we've had through. Um, so plenty still to come through. But is that not um, usual then with a stingray? Is that it's it's not about the ordinary? It's pretty standard. I think it's just for purely that they didn't have anything in stock that when we did oh, our okay. order. So we've had to order these from scratch. So they've built them. Yeah, to order as okay, they were. So, right. There you go. Um, They're in short supply, so uh, takes a little while to come through. So uh, we want one getting quick. That's what I'd absolutely. say. Absolutely. So uh, this uh, one, what's yes. happening here? This is kind of a, a modern uh, look. Yeah. So that is another Stingray Four Three Band EQ, um, but this is in the Fire Mist Purple finish, which is one of the newer the newer finishes. Um, Fire Mist Purple. Fire Mist Purple. It's good. It's good color. I love this. Um, and also, you said this is called Stealth Hardware, right? Yeah, so that yeah, that's it. The matte black um, matching hardware. So from the bridge, all the control plate, the the dials, everything there, the tuning pegs. So that's what they call their their Stealth edition of um, of the bass. Are you, you a, are you a fan of that? I am. I am. I've seen a um, a bongo just like this with the with the Stealth hardware that's just come through. I think one of our guys in store. When he says bongo, that's, that's what it's the model yeah. of this bass. He doesn't mean like a little. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this Nobody is this is the bongo. So this shape just here. Um, so this one is in the tangerine pearl finish. Wow, um, which is oh, it's so nice. It's so nice with the matching headstock, as you can see. Um, now, you see, now this is going to be it's going to divide people, I think, isn't it? Because shape wise, Lee uh, Anderson was in here a little while ago, and he went, "Oh God, I hate that." But do you know what? I really like that. I, I think I, I like that take. On, I do. On the yeah, shape. I do. I. I, I it, one of those things I used to uh, used to just put me off completely looking at the, the, this, <laughs> this this shape to be quite honest but now actually having them in and, and spending some time with them we did a video on the the first black one we had three which was mm. the one one the humbucker single, yeah, yeah. Um, and just getting it in your hands and actually playing it they've got their own sound you know so it's slightly different where this is basswood or basswood body um, or linden linden well, yes, like we learned uh, last time we did yeah linden yeah. or lime um so it's slightly different characteristics to the sound as well. Um, these are ash bodies on the on the standard Stingrays. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, 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 something with the double humbucker, I love this. It's a different finish on the back of the neck, um, but all matching still, as you can really see. It's uh, it's gorgeous. So you've got your two batteries in there, so eighteen volts. Eighteen uh, volt preamp. Yeah. Okay. Shall we have a listen to what it sounds like? Oh yeah, yeah, cool. Because right, so we haven't featured this yet, have we? Not the double humbucker. No. So we did one. So you might want to have a have a look through some of the older videos if you like the this style, but want to hear it with the one pickup. Then say check out our old Music Man videos because it's in there somewhere. So. All right. Um, I think we're starting with pickup balancer. Oh, well, in the middle. Tell me what the controls do. Cause, okay. Uh, I, I have no idea. So we've got this master volume. Yeah. Um, you've got pickup balancer. Um, right. so, so this is a sweep between the back and the front. That's it, and you've got the little notch for. And then you're in between. Okay. That's the one. Yeah. Um, and then you've got bass. Now I'll just remind myself what one's which, but oh, you've I'll got find it. bass treble, and then you've got low mid and high mid on the top. Oh no way! So uh, yeah, it's divided, uh, divided up. So yeah, nice four band, four band EQ. Mm -hmm. Twenty four frets. Oh yeah! Oh, shit. oh God, blimey! It's so a little bit more very modern, isn't it? It yeah, is right up the dusty end. Up oh, indeed, and wanna, really easily to. I want to see that demonstrated in this next piece. Oh shit! <laughs> I'll right. give it a go. <laughs> right, you three, two, one, go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Wow. That's fun. Very cool. I didn't get quite up to the 24th fret, but... That's all right, man. You got close enough. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> right, shall I tell you what I discovered then? Okay. Right, so, yes, volume. Did I get the controls wrong? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> volume. Uh, that's your pickup suite. You are correct. Got that right. Uh, your money's safe, all right? Your money's safe. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, 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 treble, top, treble. What do I sound like? Nice. I'm from the 90s. I was born in 1970. What do you want? <laughs> treble. Treble. Uh, bass. Cool. And that is your low, mid, high, mid, and one. That is your, that's your, that's your mid uh, boost and cut. Cool. And that's your frequency, your notch filter, frequency selector, whatever you want to call it. Love it. Uh, so there you go. So your mid's all on the one stack and your, your bass and treble is all on the one stack there. Nice. <gasps> Thanks, I, what, a, what a, a gamut of sounds. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's 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 a really it's a really easy bass to just pick up and start using. You know, that's why I've noticed um, uh, even with, I think with most of the music man's actually, but in this particular, I think maybe because I was taken off guard with not maybe thinking I was going to like it. You know, really sort of putting that mindset, which you should never have, never have of any instrument. No, you're very open-minded. Yeah, absolutely. And and this one, this one just. It's so easy. It sits with you and you just start playing straight away. But cool. I think with the double humbucker, that's a nice little touch, you know, so it just oh, opens up the sound a little bit more. And obviously they do this in other finishes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can pick any any finish. There's loads of finishes. You've got stealth, black finish. So, say, I think one of our guys, Mikey, shout out to Mikey in the store. He's Yo, he's, Mikey! Yes! I know he watches the videos. Um, so he's a great bass player. Um, he's just ordered, it took a long time to come through, but a black version of this. Uh, double humbucker with a stealth black hardware as well. So this um, matching black, it just looks great. Looks okay. great. Um, but yeah, plenty of finishes to pick from. You've got the purples that you can get in this as well. Um, but they're, they're, all, they're a bit um, uh, hard to get at the moment. That's what you're saying. Isn't it? It, you wait a little while. I mean, there's pretty much, you've just as you put an order in now, um, they are building, uh, you know, to, to order. So you're looking about five, six months if it's not already in production. All right. Um, but say so then you get your base that's just being made just for you. So it's, um, no, it's a nice little touch. Brill. So shall we see what we got here? So, that, so we are, these are two Stingray 4s, three Band EQs. So same model, just slightly different finishes, different neck types as well. Um, Do you want to run through some of the sounds on this? I mean, obviously, you know, I'm sure a lot of people know what a music man sounds like, but maybe some people don't. So, uh... Yeah, this is it, and so they'll, they'll sound very similar. Same, um, same construction, same pickups um, in both. So yeah, whatever you, whatever you fancy playing, man. All right, should we have a little twiddle about? Yeah, lovely. So controls wise, uh, volume. That's it. And then three band EQ. Yes. Uh, again, you've got a boost and cut with a little notch in the middle there. So you know, uh, I can't. The notch in the middle is. But you start off just to get yeah yeah to give you some sort of sense of where you are where to start from so oh also uh, just to let you know so today look we're playing through uh, a couple of Fender Rumble combos uh, that's Absolutely. the two hundred that's the five hundred mm -hmm. uh, they're really nice sounding bass amps I think yeah we uh, you know we're even just going through again like like the bass where it's just so easy just to get and plug it in and get a really decent sound yeah because uh, really. the, the, these amps are just set flat. Yeah. Um, now we, we discovered earlier that because obviously they're, the DI they're not mic'd up as you can see, so you, we, we've got a DI coming out the back of the bass amp, uh, and the EQ. Um, like I said, we've got it set flat because the EQ on these is uh, post EQ, so any fiddling about you do with the EQ on the amps is going to affect how it's going to sound at your end. So, but we've got them set flat, so really you're just it's hearing the, the bass yeah. with a bit of character of the amp in there as well. Yeah. No, and we'll um, we'll touch on those in a in a bit. So we might have a bit of a bit of an offer to go. Oh, go, yeah. go through on those. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, intriguing. Uh, but say for, for the money and for the the weight and the power, you know, the actual physical weight of it, they're yeah, it's really nice and portable. So they're very light, aren't they? Really light, really light. And say for a five hundred watt or two hundred watt combo that you can literally just throw around. <laughs> so yeah, don't throw it around. Don't throw it around, but you, yeah, yeah. Be responsible <laughs> with your bass amps. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go. Then. Let's I'll see what work. this can do. I'll whittle and you twiddle. Sweet. What I'll do first, actually, I might tune it up into some normal tuning. Do you know that caught me out? Yeah. Oh no! Did you drop have it? In, did you have it in yeah, drop D? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one note. I was like, ooh. Okay. I yeah. would have stopped. Right I would have stopped right there. <laughs> right. I'll try that again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes. There you go. Love it. So yeah, this is just sweeping, <coughs> you know, giving you the uh, the plus side of each of each EQ and then rolling it off. So yeah, you've got treble, mid, bass. Obviously, it's a, it's a classic sound, the Music Man sound. It's got a real, you know, there's nothing else that sounds like that. It's lovely. It's lovely. And I'm always still surprised just from that one one pickup. Mm. You know, it, it, you've got a nice variety of, of sounds when you start playing around with that EQ, uh, but it still keeps its its own characteristic, doesn't it? So Yeah, nothing sounds like this. Yeah. Great. I think that just about sums it up. Yeah, absolutely. I think we'll, what we'll do, we'll, we'll have a mess around with this in the outro video so you can hear it and you can see it in action but it's going to sound very similar to well can i have a go with a bongo in that case yeah man yeah of course yeah um bongo um, um bongo. bongo and i have the fire miss purple they drink it in the congo <laughs> they do all right well that's... nice well that's, that's about it so they're, they're new in brand new in so it's a little bit of a wait for these at the moment guys so um if you're interested in any of these in particular get in fast but have a look on the website because there's everything shown as pre-order um, of stuff that's already coming in. So if you want to, if you're interested in anything, you got some other got other stuff in stock. Uh, there are some other bits in stock. Yeah, absolutely. Some five strings, some Stingray classics, come some in. cutlasses, come some in. caprices. Come in. Yes, please and, do. And check them out. Absolutely. You speak to Lee. He's very friendly. I try. He's all right. <laughs> uh, all right then. Uh, well, this has been all about the bass. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, click subscribe down here, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.